good day, whatever time it is that you are consuming content and checking out YouTube videos. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I genuinely appreciate it. And today I'm going to share with you how I made this accordion journal out of scraps that I use on my work table as well as a couple of pieces of copy paper and some magazine pages. So let's get started. My name is Peg and my channel I call Two O Crows Mixed Media. I am learning this mixed media world and I like to try a little bit of everything. So if you enjoy that, hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload additional content. This is the piece, the fabric, not fabric, but the packing sheet that I lay down on my work table every time I go to work on something. It is simply that packing paper that you can buy in packages of 200 that most people use when they move. These are saved after I tear them off my table and I keep them in a, in a little tub underneath. And let's get started with making something out of this. First, I'm going to tear the tape off that I use to adhere it to my table. I have two envelopes that I have pulled out of either junk mail or, you know, they've just been around for a while. So I want to utilize them on each end of my accordion fold as a pocket. So I'm measuring the width of that envelope and tearing this packing paper to match the width of those envelopes. So now that I have measured and have that paper torn, I have the working start for this accordion journal. Now the envelope that has been around so long, the glue on it has dissipated. So I'm going to glue that shut and I'm going to cover it with another piece of this packing paper. And, you know, what you see on the packing paper is where I've rolled off my brayer, where I've squeezed out paint to use to dab for stenciling, uh, where I've overflowed on my gel press. It's, it's just there to kind of be my catch-all or catch paper for, for everything. Just wrapping this envelope like a gift with a piece of it, and that will become the front of my journal. Now, you saw me glue this envelope closed, so I'm just cutting a slit or just cutting that bottom open ever so slightly to create that pocket. So now I have it covered. That will be the front or the back. And now I'm going to slip some down inside just to make the inside a little more interesting than, than just the blue security type print they have on the inside of these envelopes. So there we go. We'll slip that down. And I filmed this earlier. It is mid-July now. And I, just a quick catch up on me, I am living at my daughter's house for six weeks, caring for her children while she is away on a training for her new position with the Space Force. So my videos, a lot of them I recorded ahead of time but hadn't, completed the voiceover, and some of them will be recorded with my five-year-old and three-year-old granddaughter probably pitter-pattering around in the background. So you might see some things to do with grandkids in the next few weeks. So now that I have that glued, the front glued on, I glued it to the strip of packing paper. I'm folding the accordion to the size of the envelope and just gluing a second one on. 
So now we have the base for this accordion fold journal. And now we just want to strengthen it a little bit and decorate it. So to strengthen it, I'm going to start collaging. I think I want to do some mark making on the front, so I'm ripping just a random sheet and sizing that, and then I'm going to set that aside, and we'll decorate that later. And now to just strengthen this up, add a little more weight to it, I have torn up other pieces of the packing sheets and I am just randomly collaging them onto this accordion fold. You know, I noticed <clears throat> there were a couple of little, um, it looked like where I had stamped and was using a self-made stamp, little squares or rectangles on this sheet that I chose. So I decided to cut out some squares and rectangles and collage them on. And then I had in my, my paper stash um, some remnants where I'd cut out circles so I decided why not add some circles too so I am just randomly pulling from my scraps and collaging it on onto this sheet Narrow the circles. So let's just kind of glue them on. And to glue them on, I'm using my, I call it my handmade Mod Podge. It's just a mixture of, of Elmer's glue and water. And I started thinking about all the things that I collected. Um, the Maker's Creative Collab for last month was collections. and. You know, I thought about doing this for collections because I collect these sheets of scrap paper and so on, and I started listing here all the different things I've collected over the years, which seems sometimes kind of wasteful. But in any event, I wrote all of those down with my gold pen. I, I will be covering that up, but it was just kind of a thought process. I was just thinking about the things that we hang on to and the things that we collect. And my list here went from everything from recipes to glass bottles to crystal, just crazy stuff, barbed wire. I collected barbed wire for who knows why, <laughs> but I had little strips of different types of barbed Well, I still have it, but, but uh, pieces of the different types of barbed wire. Now you probably know I'm a farm girl. So now I just want to cover up that with the gesso, and I'm going to gesso randomly across the accordion. And now to start decorating. I'm going to start with this stencil and some parchment paint. And I wanted to go from the gel press right to the piece. And that, I don't know why, it just didn't come out as well as I wanted it to. So we'll go over the top of it, but I didn't see any need to pull that out. You know, sometimes the failures are, are the beginning of, of what you're going to do. So let's stencil that same stencil by putting the paint on the gel press and coming over through the stencil with a little cosmetic sponge. 
You know, I'm kind of sticking with circles here. I'm coming back with some gesso. It's just getting it to the point where it appeals to your eye. And, and the nice thing about doing these scrap journals or doing a journal with this scrap paper that has been on my worktop to catch the random paint, there's no real wrong. And it, it feels really freeing to just be able to experiment because you know you don't have an expensive substrate underneath you that you might ruin. So you can just be very random and free and intuitive with with what you're doing. So we're getting a start. And I stuck with blues on this. And I have a, a it's a gray blue, cold gray, and a navy, ultramarine type of blue. And now some spray ink, just to further blue that up. And now a little bit of gold. So this is a little sheet that we made for the front cover, and I'm just kind of practicing with some mark making. And I find that I do <clears throat> better with a simic writing <clears throat> than I do with mark making. So if I think of a word and just write it illegibly, a lot of times, for me, that comes out better than just trying to intuitively make marks. <clears throat> so I'm practicing both. So now just to position this on the front. And again, still working with the scraps from the packing paper. So I think I'm happy with that. So I will glue it down with that mixture of glue and water once again. And I will link the recipe for that here. I, well, it's very simple. It's one, well, I probably better link the recipe because I may tell you wrong. Okay, so we're starting, starting to get the accordion decorated, front and back. It's taking some additional stenciling to the back, and some mark making with a with a little bit of gold to add some gold throughout, since we have the gold on the front cover. And I just decided to splotch it on with the cosmetic sponge. So it's looking better. We're starting to, starting to get close to a finished piece here.
And to finalize it and to finish it off, I am utilizing some black and a, I went with circles throughout, so I'm utilizing a black paint and I'm just dipping a lid and creating those circles with that lid. Now I'm going through some um, drywall cloth to just create another little pattern throughout. So the book is decorated, and now I want to sew in some signatures. And I created my signatures out of stained paper Stained, just plain old copy paper. I stained it with some ink sprays and magazine pages. And the magazine pages I kneaded with coconut oil to create, it's called Mamagami, the art of kneading paper to make it more fabric-like. And I have a video I'll also link here in the end screen. Well, maybe not. We'll, we'll get it linked somewhere along the video of the Mamagami and how to actually need that paper and create these signature covers that you're seeing here. So I'm just sewing the signatures in with a very simple pamphlet uh, stitch with three, three little holes. And I actually have sewn in five signatures, three on one side and two on the other. So there's one, two, three, four, five, I believe, in this. So here is the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will Try this with your scraps. If you do the same thing I do and lay down a, a large sheet of paper on your work table to keep your um, table clean or keep ink and paint off of your table, you can use those scraps and actually create something out of them. So I hope you enjoyed. And let's just do a final little flip through here. I tied it up with a piece of cheesecloth. You have a pocket at the front that I just accordion folded some paper. There's signature one, signature two, signature three, another little accordion fold. Moving to the other side of the book, signature four, and signature five. So five spots to write within this piece of scrap paper that I used or created from the, and you can see underneath this, the start of another sheet of packing paper laid down on my work table for me to work up on while I'm playing in this mixed media world. So just tied it off with a piece of cheesecloth and we will call that a finished project. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will take the time to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload additional content. I appreciate